So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. Uh, with these types of questions, all we want to really make sure we're doing is not to read the entire question all at one time. Instead, we want to read one sentence at a time, make sure we write down any quantitative information in the sentence we've read before moving on to the next sentence. So this question says a market researcher selected 200 people at random from a group of people who indicated that they liked a certain book. So I'm going to start translating what that sentence means. So to me, there was a, a group of people who liked book. And out of those people, we chose 200 people at random. The next sentence says the 200 people were shown a movie based on the book and then asked whether they liked or disliked the movie. So these 200 people were shown a movie. And then, of course, you have some people who liked the movie and we have some people who disliked the movie. The next sentence says, of those surveyed, 95% said they disliked the movie. So over here we have 95%. And uh, the next sentence says, which of the following inferences can appropriately be drawn from this survey result? Well, obviously, if 95% disliked, then I can just fill in that 5% liked over here. So answer choice A says, at least 95% of people who go see movies will dislike this movie. Um, let's see. At least 95%. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not going to say that's wrong. It doesn't seem necessarily right, but I'm going to leave it in for right now. Choice B. At least 95% of people who read books will dislike this movie. Okay, so what's different about A and B? So B represent or B includes the reading of books. Um, but again, this is regarding reading a certain book. So, you know, both A and B seem very general to me. So I'm actually going to cross out both of them for right now, uh, because A, at least 95% of people who go see movies will dislike this movie. Well, again, this 95% flows from the fact that 200, these people liked the book. And then after liking that of the people who liked the book and watched the movie, 95% disliked it. So A does not have any reference to liking this particular book at all. B has no reference to liking this particular book. It just talks about reading, reading books in general. Choice C says most people who dislike this book will like this movie. So that is definitely, uh, well, we don't know that for sure, right? Because again, our random sample came from people who liked the book, not from people who dislike the book. So we can't say anything about those people, so that's out. So D hopefully is the correct answer, but D says most people who like the book, so that's, we're in the right category, most people who like this book will dislike this movie. So that's definitely true, right? This 95%, again, starts off with the people who liked the book, and then of those who liked the book, watch the movie, and then 95% of them, right, the majority, the vast majority of those people then disliked the movie. So choice D is the best answer here.